What's up, everybody? You know what I like about collecting baseball cards? When you get home and there's a mail day. And then when you open up that mail day, you notice that there's some free cards that the seller decided to uh, sprinkle on there. Man, it's always fun. So today, I'm gonna share with you guys three examples of some freebies that I got from some other sellers from purchases that I made. So, let's take a look. All right, guys, so this is a nice little short stack that I, that I got. Now, I didn't buy this all at one time. Um, it just so happens that the last one that I bought, you know, I got a free baseball card and then it just turned into a storyline because that's how we do things over here in this channel. You know, if I showcased everything that I have or did I get, then I wouldn't be able to make some videos as often. Y'all mean? So, this is a freebie I got, okay? This is a Josh Bell numbered card of three, uh, 399. Now, the last I remember, Josh Bell was a pretty stunning player for Pittsburgh I know he was traded or he played for another team I'm not quite sure what he did last year um, I totally forgot since the season was so long ago <laughs> so that that's pretty cool you know throwing that in there with the purchase that I made now what I buy with this well I paid $20 for this and I picked up the Hank Aaron the 1961 post serial Hank Aaron and look how cool that looks damn how fun no creases, great eye appeal, graded authentic, obviously because these are all hand cut from a cereal box. Not too shabby. Gonna add another Hank Aaron card to my collection, I paid $29. So, making this purchase, I got this as a freebie. So that's pretty cool, I can dig that, I like that. Alright, here's one that I added back into my collection again. I sold it, or I sold it, it uh, <laughs> I sold it, <laughs> making up boards over here. I, okay. Before I show that, here's one that I got one for free from this purchase that I made. <laughs> and I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> a 1956 re, uh, reprint of Frank Robinson, who is a very, very underrated player, which is pretty cool. Talking about paying it forward, guys. You know, getting some free stuff over here. And I'll tell you guys in a minute what I mean by that. So this is pretty cool. I can dig this. And I can always send that out to uh, somebody who's a Frank Robinson collector or Cincinnati Reds collector whatever but i rebought this card a 1960 tops uh, mickey mantle ken boyer the uh, rival all-stars i actually sold this card i think it was like just under 60 bucks during the card boom so i added this back into my collection for 35 dollars so we have fun some smart buying over here oh yeah so here's the back pretty cool no creases not that i know of when i purchased this so this seller decided to send me this uh frank robinson along with it I can totally dig that. And now for the hot banger. This is the banger right here. This one was like, oh, wow. A nice little short stack plus the graded card that I bought. Sweet. So, let's take a look at what he sent me. A Raw Mondesi rookie card, I believe. Now, I'm not sure if I have this. I'll have to look at my Dodger binders. I'm not quite sure. A Tim Wallach. Hideo Nomo. Another Raw Mondesi. Another Hideo Nomo. Uh, Roberto Cl Kelly, Chanho Park, Hadel Nomo, Ramon Martinez, some Chargers uh, football. I don't watch football, so I don't know if these guys are good or not. But I'll just set those to the side and send it out to a football fan. A checklist. I think I, this is 63. Angels checklist. A Bill Buckner rookie card. Damn. A Tommy Davis. A Wally Moon. Moonshots. A Carl Ferrillo. Man, this was stunning, dude. When I received this, I was like, holy smokes. Talking about paying it forward. And I'll mention and, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But this is the card that I I purchased with that. This was a 1951 Bowman Duke Snyder. I finally get to add this to my collection. Now I actually bought this a while ago. I was just kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting to make a video on it. And it just never happened. And it just so happens that, you know. Getting, you know, some extra cards, getting some extra cards, getting some extra cards, you know. It now turns into a storyline. So that's pretty cool. Check this out. Small little crease on the outside, but nice eye appeal. And what's crazy is I paid $66. I was going to buy a pour for about $80. I think this was an auction style that nobody bid it on. I just threw a bid on it. If I can remember. I, I, I really can't remember. I, I could have swore this was an auction style because I uh, there was a pour that I, that I had in my watch list and it was like about 80 bucks. 
And I was just sitting on it until I saw this one. So I threw a bit on this one. Ended up winning it. So, you know, I got rid of the uh, the one in the watch list. So, it's pretty cool. Look at the back. Pretty stunning. Damn, how fun. Now, the cool thing about, you know, getting some freebies, some free cards, you know, with these purchases is that when I signed some cards um, during the card boom, there was a particular buyer who um, was really satisfied with the cards that he purchased from me because I sold some star players, kind of like this one right here. And um, he told me that his son was going to be all happy, you know, that, it, you know, it's, it's a birthday gift and blah, blah, blah. So I replied to this guy and I asked him, you know, what's his favorite team was. And then he told me, and then I was like, hang on, dude, I'm going to send you a care package for your son's birthday. And um, his favorite team was the Cubs, and I threw in relics, I threw in autographs, and a whole bunch of doubles that I had in my collection. And man, you should have seen about three days later, I received this big old paragraph of thank yous, of so many ways of thanking me. <laughs> so, when I see stuff like this, you know, I greatly appreciate it, you know, because uh, it gets to add some extra cards to my collection. And not only cards that I, you know, I originally purchased. And then, you know, whatever I don't use in my collection, I can always, you know, pay it forward to, to somebody who... Uh, I know we'll use this in our collection. So, nice little mail day. Pretty cool, some extra cards. I get to add this back to my collection. I get to add another Hank Aaron to my collection. And finally, the 51 Bowman, Duke Snyder. And by the way, Bowman53 made a really good video on this. So, you may want to go check out his channel and check out this video of this card. That being said, see you guys all later. Toodles!